Chapter 18 Prohibition of Heresies in Religion Allah the Exalted says in the Quran فَمَاذَا بَعْدَ الْحَقِّ إِلَّا الضَّلَالِ So after the truth, what else can there be save error? And Allah also says مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ We have neglected nothing in the book. And Allah also says فَإِن تَنَازَعْتُمْ فِي شَيْءٍ فَرُدُّوهُ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ And if you differ in anything amongst yourselves, refer it to Allah and His Messenger. And Allah also says, وَأَنَّ هَذَا صِرَاطِي مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا السُّبُلَ فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ And verily, this is my straight path, so follow it, and follow not other paths, for they will separate you away from his path. And Allah also says, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبَكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ Say, if you really love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you and forgive you your sins. 169 Aisha رضي الله عنها reported Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If anyone introduces in our matter something which does not belong to it, it will be rejected. Collected by Al-Bukhari and Muslim. The narration in Muslim says, If anybody introduces a practice which is not authenticated by me, it is to be rejected. Commentary. This hadith lays down a very important principle. Unfortunately, Muslims have not attached any importance to this hadith and the principle given in it, with the result that innovations in the deen have become so common that they have been taken for true deen. Our people act upon them and are made to practice them. One reason for this is their lack of education and ignorance about the religion. The second reason is their lack of understanding of the principle prescribed in this hadith, although it is stated in very explicit terms. The principle that we learn from this hadith is that every such action or activity is an innovation which is done as a virtue and to gain the pleasure of Allah, but is not consonant with the teachings of the Qur'an and Sunnah, or which does not agree with the interpretation of text given by the companions of the Prophet. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or their successors, the Tabi'un. The reason being that the period of the companions and the Tabi'un is the Khairul Qurun, the best of all generations. Thus, any action or activity that is deprived of the support of these generations falls in the category of innovations. 170. Jabir. رضي الله عنه reported whenever Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam delivered a khutbah his eyes would become red his tone loud and he showed anger as if he were warning us against an army he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say the enemy is about to attack you in the morning and the enemy is advancing against you in the evening he would further say, I am sent with the final hour like these two fingers of mine. Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam held up his index finger and the middle finger together to illustrate. He used to add, to proceed, the best speech is the book of Allah and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad. The worst practice is the introduction of new practices in Islam and every bid'ah is a misguidance. He would also say, I am in respect of rights nearer to every believer than his own self. 
He who leaves an estate, it belongs to his heirs. And he who leaves a debt, it is my responsibility to pay it off. Collected by Muslim. Commentary. Number one, this hadith mentions the style of the speech of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. His auspicious presence is regarded in it as a sign of the nearness of the day of resurrection. Number two, it emphasizes the importance of the Quran and the Sunnah and brings into focus the destruction caused by bid'ah in the deen. Number three, it clearly lays down that the orphans and the needy are the liability of the government or Baytul Mal. The reason being that the caliphs were the successors of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the work which was done by him in his lifetime was after him their responsibility. And number four, the rightful owners of the deceased are their heirs and none else.